What's up everybody, Tiankum here with Stoyak Quilting. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you make this reusable, reversible shopping bag. And when it's all folded up, it's nice and neat and compact. Let's get started. As always, let's dive right on into the cutting instructions. As you can see in front of me, I've already gone ahead and pre-cut most of my fabrics down. What we'll need for this project is we're gonna need four pieces that are seven inches wide by 21 inches long. Same thing here, four pieces that are nine inches by 21 inches long, four pieces that are four inches by 21 inches long, two pieces of fabric that are three inches by 25 inches long. I've got two buttons and I've got two pieces of elastic here. What I'm gonna start off by doing is I'm gonna start sewing the body of the bag together and I'll need my one piece of, or sorry, my two pieces of elastic, but I'm only gonna be using one here. And this piece of elastic is 10 inches long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow piece here, my four inch piece, and I'm going to just iron a crease into it really quick. That way I know where middle is. Now that I know where middle is, I'm going to lay it on top of my nine inch piece. I'm going to take my elastic and I'm going to stick it in underneath my yellow piece here, right in the center. I'm gonna leave it sticking out just a little bit there. I'm gonna take my Wonder Clips, which are right here. I'm gonna clip this together right in the middle. I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and sew all the way down. When I hit that elastic, I'm gonna go back and forth a couple of times to make sure it's really secured. I'm coming up onto my elastic now. Oops. I pulled that out a little bit, I'm gonna put it back now. And like I said, I'm gonna go over it a couple times. And I'm gonna finish off my seam. open that up and as you can see I have my elastic right there in the center. Now I'm going to take the bottom portion, lay it on top of my 9 inch piece and just do a normal quarter inch seam all the way down. Now that I have this all sewn together I'm going to just iron everything down flat. So I'm going to take this over to my ironing board So I'm not gonna show this in, in the video, but I'm gonna make one more of these pieces, but without this elastic band. Then what I'm gonna do is with other fabrics or in a different color options or variations, I'm gonna repeat these exact same steps. That way I have a total of four panels. That way I can make my bag reversible. So now that this is done, it's time to work on the handles. We need to make two handles for this project and like I said in the beginning of the video, this piece right here is three inches by 25 inches long. And we're going to do just a simple tri-fold tri here, which is that we just fold them towards the middle. And then we fold it over one more time, just like that. I'm gonna use the iron for this portion, that way I can get everything ironed down. Now that I've got this into a nice tri-fold, I'm gonna take it over to our sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam all the way down. Now I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to top stitch the other side as well. And just like that, that's what we're going for. And we're going to need two of these straps. Now that we've completed the handle, I'm going to show you how to attach it to your bag. I'm going to bring out my handle here and we're going to want it to be facing or going towards the inside of your bag. And let me just make sure you can see this on camera. And you want to put it about six inches in. And so that right there is where I'm going to put it. I got six inches in from the outside edges here. I'm going to put a pin in it. That way it stays in place. I'm 
just like that. Now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and tack these on. I'm going to tack them on really well. So I'm going to go over them probably four or five times each. Going down to my next one. And that is how you attach the handle, just like that. Now, let me show you what I've already gone ahead and done. I've already made another piece, exactly the same as the front, except for it does not have an elastic piece here. And I've also made the inside of my bags, which to make the inside is exactly the same. I've got one that's in a different arrangement than my front portion of my bag, one that does not have elastic, and one that does have elastic, exactly the same size, exactly the same measurements. Now it's time to start assembling the bag. What we're going to do is we're going to take both of these, the ones that I've just made, I'm going to line them up right sides together, and I'm going to sew around the three sides, leaving the open, or sorry, the top open. So I'm going to take that over to the sewing machine this side. And I'm going to sew all the way around until I get to the other side. At this portion you want to take a little bit extra time to match up your seams. So I've sewn around all three sides here. I'm gonna set this aside and do the same thing to my next part of the bag. I'm gonna lay these down right sides together. Handles inside. And sew the three edges. Now with the portion that has the handles on it, I'm going to flip it right sides out. Make sure to get my corners poked out as well. And you really want to make sure you got everything poked out how you like. Let me grab, let me use a little bit of her scissors here to get that out because it didn't want to come out for me. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's all out properly. So now I'm going to take our other portion of the bag and I'm going to stuff the one with handles inside of it. So right sides are technically together here. So I'm going to lift up the bag here and try to get everything inside. Make sure the handles are inside. And I've got two side seams here, right? I've got my lining and my bag. I'm going to put those together, make sure they're lined up. I'm going to put a pin in it just to make sure they don't move on me. I'm going to do the same on the other side. They, those are all lined up. Put a pin in it. And then I'm going to line up the rest of the tops here. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew it with a half inch seam all the way around the top leaving a, about a four or five inch opening on one side. That way we can turn the bag outside. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna start 
right here on this siding, work my way all the way around and leave about a five inch opening on this side. And again, we're gonna use a half inch seam here just to make sure we catch everything how we need to. So now with this five inch opening, what we're gonna do is I'm going to just reverse all of this and pull it all right side out. It's gonna take a second to get everything out. And now to seal up this hole that we have here, I'm gonna do a quarter inch seam all the way around my bag as a decorative stitch, but it will also seal off this hole that I have here. So now I've got it all sewn together, it's time to add the final part, which is the buttons. So let me grab my buttons here. So now that I have my buttons, what we wanna do is we wanna put our button about eight or so inches down from the top here, which I'm going to just do a little guesstimation here, which is gonna be right there. I'm just using the my mat here. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stick a pin in this so I don't lose my place. And this is the same step for both buttons, for the inside and the outside. And I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine. And I'm gonna just let the sewing machine do all the work for me here. I'm gonna bring this down to the needle. And once I'm at the needle, I'm going to drop my needle right into the button hole here. And all I'm going to do is just go hole by hole, round around with my sewing machine needle. And if you want to put them on by hand, that works too. I just found this to be the fastest way for me. And so I've gone through about, I don't know, 10 or 15 times. Oh, let me pull this out. In and out of the buttons, and now that button is attached. Let me cut off the excess string that I've got here. And then we repeat that step on the inside. That way we have a reversible bag. But before we end this video, let me show you how you fold up this bag. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it right side down or where the button is down. I'm gonna fold it into itself over and over just like that and then we just roll it up and add our elastic band oh. and just like that our reversible bag is done if you've liked this video hit the like button subscribe to our channel and don't be afraid to share it with your friends as always we're going to leave instructions on how to make this in the description below my name's Tiankum, teaching how to sew like a pro we'll see you here next week at sewya quilting